Hello everyone, this video is essentially the conclusion to the ultimate DIY one wheel build. Not the last video in the series, as I will do a longer video on configuring this in VESC tool, but that will be a bit later. What you're watching right now is really just the final assembly of the board itself, including the wiring, the battery box, and the rest of the physical setup that happened to complete the build. I made my own wiring harness to accommodate the Enoid X-Lite BMS and decided to instead use the ZBMS in a build I'll be doing this winter with all of the Fungineers parts. If you are interested in the details of this assembly, the wiring, the actual setup inside the battery box and all that, I have a detailed article linked to in the description. It's the top to bottom write up of this build, including parts lists and information for how I tackled certain challenges. The article also covers the wiring harness, which I made for this specific battery setup. As mentioned in my previous video, this battery that I built is a 20S2P configuration with a top voltage of 84 volts and a rated energy of about 440 watt hours. That's somewhere between a one wheel XR and a one wheel GT. The battery box closed nice and easily without any wire pinching and I'm glad the parts came together well enough. Again, a very, very sincere thank you to all of the vendors who contributed to this project, the Float Life, Makers PEV, Beast Coast Repairs on Long Island, New York, One Stop Board Shop, Victory Board Shop, and many thanks to the Vesk One Wheel Builders community, as well as Surf Dotto and Nico Ailman for helping me get my settings worked out. Configuring this and getting everything to actually work was probably the most challenging part. It was actually insanely frustrating considering I had some serious bugs to work through. I've been working with VESC for a couple of years now, and so I'm a bit numb to the bugs and gremlins that can plague a VESC-based ESC, but working with an IMU and the current iteration of the Balance app was pretty new to me and pretty far outside of my wheelhouse. There was one evening where I felt entirely dejected and quite upset at myself for not being able to figure out how to make it work. But as with most DIY projects, the bugs do get worked out and things progress. I'm glad this was the case here because this board rides really nicely. It's actually quite the experience. And after a little more tuning and getting more acclimated to the ride feel, I'll of course be doing more content on this particular build. It's already pushed my GT out of the main ride position because I don't really have to slow down on hills anymore with this board. It's very much something new and interesting. Anyway, I do hope you enjoyed the series, and I also hope it's been at least a bit helpful, if not just entertaining. I have more material coming as always, and until then, I will be buried in the garage making batteries. Take care of yourselves, and don't fall. <laughs>